Now ready for slide 11. Your last slide. Hooray! I bet your slideshow looks awesome and is something you're really proud of. What you're going to do then for slide 11 is, of course, go up to the top here and you're going to add a new blank slide again. And again, you're going to go and find a very beautiful picture of your national park and save image as. So you want to save the image because we are going to create that as a background again. Remember to do the background, you click on background and you choose the image right here that you have saved and then you um, add it to your background. I've already done that. The next thing to do is to add a text box. Here's our text box right here. I'm going to drag mine across the top because it's going to be kind of the title. And on this last slide, you need to find out the reasons why your national park is being saved. So let's type in why Great Sand Dunes is a national park. Okay, and I'm going to uh, just leave it like that. Maybe add the a colon up here like that. And once again, highlight it, change the size. Because it's a title, it can be big. You can make it bold. You should be getting good at this now. I'm going to do this real quick. Find a good color that would go against the sky. Oh, maybe orange. I'll try. Oh, I don't like orange. Maybe white. White's always kind of my go-to because white shows up well. Now I'm going to drag this across like this and have that be my title. Why Great Sand Dunes is the National Park. Take a look, though, at what I capitalized. I capitalized the W because it's the beginning of the sentence. I capitalized the name of my National Park, all of the letters in it because it's a proper noun. You do not need to capitalize National Park in this sentence. If we had it with Great Sand Dunes National Park, then we would. They can be lowercase. Why Great Sand Dunes is a national park. Now you need to go find out why. And to do this, we're going to visit a site. Let me show you, let me go back and show you what I searched for. I went into my Google and I typed national parks and then the word wiki, W-I-K-I short for Wikipedia, National Parks Wiki. Press return and then you'll see that there is a list of national parks of the United States that looks like this, Wikipedia. Click on that. It's kind of a neat site. Now when you open it up like this, ignore this top section, scroll down and you will see a list here of all of the national parks in alphabetical order. It will have an image, it will tell you the state, it tells you the, their birthday, and their area, how many people visit each year. And then finally right here is the description. The description is what your park, why your park is so special. So I'm going to go all the way down to the G's here for Great Sand Dunes. There it is, Great Sand Dunes. Not many people visit, I suppose a little more than Great Basin. But right over here is what the information you want. It tells you that these are the tallest sand dunes in North America. So you're going to... Um, copy this. Let's see if I can copy that. Oops, sorry about that. So we're going to drag your mouse over here, copy it, control C, and then just hop right back over to your slideshow and add another text box. The text box should be across the bottom here. And then control V or paste. Now it's pretty small. I need to make it bigger. So I'm going to highlight it all and increase that size. So, cause this is something really important. You want it to be nice and big. You want to make it maybe bold, choose a font and a color that's easy to read. And this is going to be the reason why your park is a national park. Now, when you do this, I'm going to move it up here. Uh, because I have all of these words in here that ended up like this, I'm going to go up to the fill color and just maybe add it all white because this is important. And I ca accidentally copied this little 60 right here. I, 
I'm going to click on that and get rid of that because it doesn't need to be in there. And there is my reasons. It should be big and bold and easy to read. And you have your title on here. Why Great Sand Dunes is a national park. You have the background with a picture. You have your text box with a white background here. And there is the reason why your park is a national park. Go ahead and add um, animations for your, two, your title and your uh, text box down here. When you're done, click over here and add a transition. Now, if you finish before a lot of other people, if you are a quick worker and you get done, I'm going to have you make one more slide if you are ahead of everybody. The next slide that you're going to do is just a collage of pictures of your national park. When you find this collage, when you do it, you do not need to uh, click on the picture to make it bigger. You can just double two finger click here and go to copy image. So you can just copy the image, then go back to your slideshow and you can just control V to paste it in there and create a collage. Now your collage can be however you want to. You can turn them and make them sideways and have a colored background. It, this slide is really up to how you want your collage to work. And one, one thing, one last thing I was gonna show you, if you wanted these slides to line up and notice how this one's taller than this one, if you want it to go so the same size, I'm just gonna show you a real quick trick click on it and we're going to arrange that picture and we want to arrange it in the order of it. I'm going to send it to the back. Now watch what's going to happen. When I send it to the back, this then becomes on the top and this becomes a slide that can tuck up underneath it. I sent it to the back. You can also click on it and you go to arrange and once it's on the back then you know you can click on it, you can send it forward. Um, you can do that if you want the pictures to line up because I kind of wanted this line to line up right here. So that last slide, if you're a fast worker, you can create it so it looks beautiful. And hooray, you did it. You are all finished with your National Park Slideshow. Make sure to go back and watch it up here to make sure you have all of your animations and your transitions and everything is easy to read. And the next thing we'll do is start presenting. Good job.